Hi, welcome to a new video. Um, today I'm going to be programming the Pro Mini um, with a Arduino Mega. You can also use a, any of the Arduinos that have a serial connection, um, meaning that you can plug it directly into your computer and it will process information properly. So um, things you will need for this. Uh, I'm using a breadboard. Technically you could use just jumpers if you had a bunch of male to female connectors and stuff like that, but I'm going to use a breadboard. You need a few jumpers, um, your App Mega or whatever you're using to program. Obviously, your Pro Mini. I am using a um, 16 megahertz 5 volt 168, um, but there is the 328 5 and 3 volt versions. Um, but I'm gonna jump into wiring up the board. All right, so um, I'm gonna wire up the board. Um, you got your Pro Mini here. Um, it's important to take note of which are the TX and RX. Let's put this on the breadboard. Um, you can, I think, use the other pins, like if it were laying flat, but I'm going to use the recommended pins. So I'm going to plug in the, um, the TX uh, is, I'm pretty sure the orange and the RX um, and I'm going to plug them in parallel so the TX on the Pro Mini is going to go to the TX0 if you're on a Mega and just the TX in general get the light on so you can actually see um, and yeah I'm just gonna plug those in parallel so they go just like positive to positive negative to negative pretty pretty uh, simple but it's very important you get those correct or else this just won't work in it can cause damage to both the boards, I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, but... So I'm going to plug in the power here. I'm, I'm just plugging in the, the positive and negative onto the uh, positive and negative rail of the Arduino, or I mean of the breadboard. I'm going to ground out the uh, reset pin. Uh, you can use the ground that's right there. Uh, it, just for sake of this video, I'm going to use the one over by 13 on the on the Mega. Just so you can kind of, so it, it's a little bit more visible of what the heck's going on here. Um, and now I'm going to, I'm going to, they're both blue, but I'm going to wire up the positive and negative rails on the uh, breadboard to the um, positive and negative on the Arduino Mega. I'm, I am using a, a 5 volt Pro Mini, so I'm going to just hook it up to the, the, um, the 5 volt uh, pin. If you are using a 3 volt, make sure to do that. Now we're going to plug it in and then I'm going to go to my computer. So um, I've got a simple um, blank code set up. It's, there's, a, there's literally an example for it um, default with Arduino, but um, I did modify it slightly. I made it so it'd blink significantly faster because most of these boards are, if they are pre-flash with um, bootloader and all that stuff, which they usually are. If they are, though, they already have a um, blink program installed on them. Um, another thing, um, if they don't have an LED on them, it's very unlikely that they don't, but if they are a, one of these Chinese um, knockoffs or whatever, um, do specify a pin and then plug that pin into the breadboard or whatever to whatever so you can make sure that it's working right. Um, so I'm going to go into the settings, um, go into the tools tab. Uh, I have been using this uh, at Mega and I am using it to program with it but I have been using it and I'm going to change the board setting to the Arduino Pro Mini or, or Pro or Pro Mini um, and I'm also going to change the uh, processor. The default is the 328, but I do have a 5 volt um, 16 megahertz 168. Um, and that's that's uh, specific to whichever one you're using. So if you are using a 3 volt uh, 328 or something like that, do make sure to change that around for you. I'm going to rebuffer the COM for it because for whatever reason, um, Arduino doesn't like to um refresh that ever um, unless you change it so um but yeah make sure to get your com port right 
And this is the last thing that I've, I've particularly made this video on, um, or made this video because uh, I see a lot of I saw a lot of videos that weren't specifying this part, um, and and it is very important because this actually doesn't work if you don't do this. But uh, you want to set your programmer um, setting. It's typically Arduino ASP, or if you're using, actually, I'm pretty sure it's always that. Um, but you want to set it to parallel programmer, or this actually does not work. You cannot actually upload to the board. Um, it's very important, um, specifically uh, for this. You have, if you are also programming, I guess a a standalone board for um, uh, just a 328 microcontroller, you also have to set it to Parallel Programmer. Um, so we're going to hit Upload, and a thing to note um, when we hit Upload is we do want to hold the Reset button while it is compiling and everything. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hold the Reset button on my Pro Mini. I'm going to hold the Reset button until it says Uploading. As soon as it says Uploading, we need to release our the button. So there we go, it's uploading, we're going to release, and you should see your TX and RX on your Mega, just flicker a bunch, um, and I would pull out the phone to record this again. Believe me, the um, LED pen is flashing really fast at about a tenth of a second, I would agree. Um, uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to uh, like it leave a comment, whatever, um, subscribe as well if you feel like um, keeping up with any other content I do make. I don't put out very much content, but when I do, it's I try to keep it on the useful end. But if you close your eyes